Okay, take me back to the 90s. I'm ready. I was definitely born in the right year, but I wish I had more time to live in that time frame because... Oh, so cute. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Special welcome to you. Back at it again with the red hair. Yes, if you guys haven't seen my last video, I did this entire hair transformation on video with you guys. I will link that video up here for you as well as in the description box below so you can check that out too. But for today, we are getting into a really fun 90s vibe makeup look. Y'all know that I love a nice little soft glam, nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy. Honestly, give me 90s vibes all the time. Y'all know how much I love brown lipstick, so we're gonna get into a really nice lip combo today as well. And I will be playing around with some new makeup, so we'll be getting into some of that stuff as well. Before we jump straight in, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, and also make sure you hit that notification bell as well, so you will never miss a new upload ever again. All right, so we're starting with a fresh face. I have gone ahead and done my brows off camera just because that's it's the same thing every single time, just a brow pencil, nothing interesting to see there. But I'm really, really excited to dig in to some new stuff. Honestly, if someone were to ask me like, what's my favorite look when it comes to fashion, when it comes to makeup, 90s every time. For me, that is just, whew, I love it. All right, so to prime my face, I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is so good. I love this primer because it literally just feels just like a moisturizer. It just feels so good. I do have a combination skin. I feel like if you have super oily skin, then this might not be the primer for you. But if you have combination to dry skin, this is bomb. All right, so next I'm going in with my current all-time favorite foundation. This is the brand new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. And let me tell you, if you like soft, smooth skin with like a flawless look to it. This is full coverage, but still very comfortable to wear. Like if that is your vibe, this needs to be in your Sephora. <laughs> this needs to be in your Sephora cart or in your hands immediately because it is so, so good. The first time I used this foundation, I was like, I was like shook immediately off the bat. The first I'm going in with Caracas. I think that's the name of it. It's the Medium Deep 3.3. This is definitely a few shades darker than I normally wear, but I really want a nice contrast between like a little deepness down here and then brightness under the eyes. So that's why I'm kind of going in with this deeper color first. The blending is where I'm gonna get y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how just delicious. And my dark spots are completely gone. Like where did they go? They are gone. I didn't even need to color correct. I have some scars from hormonal acne. Actually comment below, is that something you guys wanna hear about? My little hormonal acne journey, what helps me, how I deal with it, how I treat the acne. If that's something that you guys are interested in seeing, please do comment below and let me know. I've been thinking about filming a video about it, but I'm not even sure if y'all care. So let me know if you wanna see it. I will definitely put that together for you. Next, I'm going in with the shade Huahine, which is their medium deep 2.6. So we went in with the darker one first, and then I'm going in with the lighter one, just a little bit higher up on my cheekbones for a little bit of extra coverage up here on my nose. Do you see this skin? If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me do like, I did a ton of IG stories on this, raving about this foundation. It's literally so good and I just love the fact that I don't have to color correct before because the coverage is just so lit. I love it. Favorite foundation of all time, period. All right, so next I'm going in with the Kosas Concealer in the shade 06 and I'm using this to brighten my under eyes. So as you guys can see, this is a little bit light. This is definitely lighter than I would normally go for like a regular everyday look. I definitely want a little bit more of a glammy kind of vibe, but light glam, a little soft light glam. And then I'm blending it out with not a beauty blender. I know it looks like a beauty blender, but it's actually called the super sponge. Let me actually show you guys up close a clean one so you don't have to stare at my dirty one. But this is what it looks like. You can see here there's a darker pink and a lighter pink. This darker pink part is actually silicone. So it's a sponge wrapped in silicone and then it's the regular sponge material here at the bottom. So good, it definitely does not soak up as much products as the Beauty Blender does, so I really love that for it, and the blend is amazing. Balls. All right, so next I'm going in with the new Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier, and this is in the shade Honey. It is so good. It is literally perfect for us, like, tan, like, kind of mixed complexions. 
perfect, I'm telling you. Can y'all see that? I don't even know if the camera is picking up the warmth, but it has a nice amount of warmth without being too warm, so it's still gonna brighten your under eye. And of course, we already know how the Laura Mercier products work from her original translucent powder. It's so good, so, so good. And I actually stopped using it though because the shade just wasn't like perfect for me, but this honey shade, perfect. I was using the Cover FX one, which is good too, but this kind of took over my life now. And this is now my favorite powder. All right, so next we're gonna jump to the eyes really quick. This is a new palette. Well, I don't know if it's actually a new eyeshadow palette, but it's new to me and it's a new brand to me. This is the Little One palette by Lawless. Lawless is non-toxic makeup, which I really, really like. And the colors in this palette are just a vibe. The neutrals, the browns, total 90s vibes. So I'm just going in with this medium brown shade first as our transition shade. Honestly, I'm not doing anything crazy today. I just want a little bit of like a contoured brown kind of vibe on the eyes. All right, so next I'm going in with this darkest brown shade to then deepen out the outer crease of my eye. I love this, and all this is gonna do is just contour our eyes, give us a little bit of definition. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of boom. That deeper shade kind of brought us together, huh? Y'all already know I am not a makeup artist, so all my looks that I do here on my channel are super easy to be achieved by anybody. You don't have to be a makeup professional or anything like that because I sure as hell am not. And that's gonna be it for eyeshadow, but I still do wanna go in with a little bit of brown eyeliner. So this is eyeliner by One Size by Patrick Star, another new brand and a new product. This is their Point Made Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Busty Brown. I thought I said Rusty Brown, but it's Busty Brown. That's cute, I like that name. So I'm just gonna apply this on the outer like waterline of my eye. And I'm gonna be kind of messy with it because the whole point of this is to be a little bit smudgy. And then I'm just taking this flat brush and smudging her out some more. Ooh, I love a good smudge liner moment. It is so cute. I'm even gonna flick it out a little bit to kind of give us the illusion of a winged eye. I don't know how to do wing. I'm working on it. I promise you I'm working on it. But for right now, this is the way that I get that effect without actually having to know how to do a proper wing. All right, so next I'm going in with the Kush Mascara by Milk Makeup. Just using this to lightly coat my lashes before we pop on some falsies. All right, and then for falsies, I am using my Ardell Studio Effects Wispies. These are my favorite lashes of all time because they're not super big and dramatic. Again, y'all know me, I like things a little bit more on the simple side, but they still got the job done. They still look really cute and just like enhance the eye. Do you see the difference here? It's like difference without being like overly dramatic. I love it. Again, also very comfortable to wear. Y'all know how I do. Ta-da, it's a vibe. All right, so next we are gonna jump right back to the face and I'm gonna grab some bronzer. My current favorite is also a newer product. This is the gorgeous and beautiful Airbrush Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. First off, do you see how big this palette is? It is so nice. I love the fact that it's really big because I love to go in with this bronzer. I wear the shade three, which is 10. And look at it. Look at that beauty. I love this so much. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powders. Anyway, you guys are about to see me use the finishing powder in a minute, but they're bomb and this bronzer is no different. It is delicious. And like I said, I kind of want to really go in with the bronzer. I feel like a nice bronzy 90s vibe. Like when it comes to 90s, the more brown, the better, right? So we're gonna go in. Just keep blending, just keep blending. Look at that, look at that. We're coming together. I actually really love this red hair the most when I have like a nice beat face, you know? It is cute, it is a vibe, it is a look, and I'm here for it. So it's time for the most important part of this video and that is getting these brown juicy lips all together. You literally can't do a 90s look without doing a brown lip. So this is my current favorite brown lip combo for like a nice deep 
chocolatey looking brown, okay? You guys loved it. This is actually the brown that I wore in my Bouncer Nuts photos. You guys were obsessed with that. So I wanted to show you guys this combo right up close and personal. So these are matte lip crayons by Bite Beauty. So non-toxic makeup, it's great. And it's also available at Sephora. The two shades that I have are Cognac, which is the first shade I'm gonna use to line my lips for the darker look. And then we're gonna go in a little bit in the middle with Amaretto, which is a lighter, more honey color. I mean, honestly, we could leave it right here. This is like 90s AF, but no. Look at that, let me give you a close up. It is a nice ombre. It is not fully matte, as you can see. They call their mattes creamy mattes, and that's exactly what it is. So it kind of stays put, but it is still very creamy and it will transfer a little bit. Okay, take me back to the 90s. I'm ready. I was definitely born in the right year, but I wish I had more time to live in that time frame because. Oh, so cute. Oh, I almost forgot to set. We got to set our makeup. Ooh, okay. So this is my favorite setting spray by Morphe. Not a new product, but definitely a major key. You actually need this in your life. So this is their continuous setting spray. Just gonna go ahead. And then the very last thing that I like to kind of do just to make sure this complexion is gonna stay put, especially while we gotta be wearing our mask, is going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Finish. Setting powder, it is a pressed setting powder, and this is also in the shade three, which is tan. This is so good. I'm literally just gonna press this into the skin where I don't want it to be dewy, because that setting powder can kind of tend to be a little bit on the dewy side. So I'm basically pressing the spray into the skin. It's like double setting, okay? All right, guys, and that is it for this look. I love this so much, and again, so super easy. This is actually something that will be super flattering on anybody, and also very easy to achieve, as you guys have seen. So if you are gonna go ahead and recreate my look, don't forget to tag me in y'all's pictures. I love to see your looks. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.